Hey, card fighters. It's another week of Card Fight Tuesdays, week eight. And you know who I am. I'm the Vizzle. We have here. Zong Taga. And Queen. No Kahari, Kahari this Kahari week. Not here this yeah, month. yeah. Well, he was Ladies. here for the tag matches. And, you know, we're the Teen Lost Prophecy, and we're having another week of Card Fight Tuesdays. I said that already. Um. Gonna have another matchup. Uh, this is between Genesis and Dark Regulars. Quinn's Genesis, and Sama's um, Dark Regulars. He just made a new clan. You guys saw in the tag matches. We're also gonna be talking about some of the cards that's coming out in box 15. 15. Years from that's, now. Yeah, it's not coming out <laughs> for years. But just the fact that they're at a certain car clan, Mega Con, he's getting upgraded. Yes. We felt it necessary just to talk about it. So we're gonna talk about a couple cards and uh, we'll see how the match goes down. And, uh,. Let's get the match started, everybody. Alright. Okay. <sighs> before, I already did my checks from before. I didn't want to waste time, you know, shuffling and doing all that nonsense. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll keep my hand. Okay. Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay, hey, every match. It's time for the fight. Uh, which one do you do? Uh, you can go first. Mm -hmm. Okay, so since we're this far in the game, let's get with the first card. Alright, first card that um, I'll be explaining is Sama Sake. Oh, I'll be he's he's going to explain all of them, don't worry about that. Uh, yeah, considering I'm a Mega Colony player and everything. The first card is Machining Spark Hercules. The skill is when this unit attacks a Vanguard, if all of your opponent's Vanguard and Rear Guards are rested, you may pay the cost. If you do, this unit gets 10,000 and a crit until the end of the turn. And choose one of your opponent's Rear Guards, and that unit cannot stand during your opponent's next stand phase. And the cost is Counter Blast 2 with Machining in its name. In other words, a special Counter Blast. And the second skill is Soul Blast 1 with Machining um, in its name, and you rest all of your opponent's rear guards. Both of those effects are both acts. No, um, the first effect is an auto, Limit Break 4, the second one's an act, which is actually really good. Alright, so would you use the card, obviously? Um, to be completely honest, I believe just about any Mega, Mega Colony player up to this point would use the card just for the break ride, bro. Why, why not? No, no, this isn't the break ride. That's not the break ride? No. Mm -hmm. would, no. You, would you use the card, Quinn? I'm not a Mega Colony player. I'm just saying, would you use Was it? Well, yeah. Well, yeah, why not? I mean, truthfully... <sighs> the break ride... Well, well, we'll get to that later, but the break ride already rests all units, so... <sighs> You know what? It, it, it does keep with the resting the, the the whole trait of resting the field and everything. So, let's see, it's pretty effective. Seventeen. Take. Sama, do you believe the card is effective? It is. I mean, I'll I'll, I'll be honest with you. You know, Ant Lion. Sixteen. Way back in the other Mega Colony, apparently, you know, it was a Mega Blast, and you know, the skill was Mega Blast, Soul Blast, Counter Blast Five. Obviously, the base Mega Blast logic. You, you stop all your opponent's cards from standing up the following turn, which is actually really good. I like that. See, but with this card, though, all you have to do is Soul Blast a single card with machining in its name, and it automatically stops every car, every unit on the field from standing, which, to be completely honest, Lame. I like. Okay, all right, okay. Sixteen. Oh, good. Crit critical and power. Soul charge. You power. Fifteen. Vanguard. Six. Go ahead. Looks like the break rides on Vanguard. Oh, uh, take. Power. Roll. Power. 
I know. Bob, yeah. I'm not joking. Critical trigger. Uh, blue dust. Apply to Sager. Good. Sand draw. Nice. Perfect timing. Alright, demon here. Soul charge. Alright. I should have. Uh, 19. No good. Google power. And I died. Second check. You. Power in the van. Again. Mm. Foul on the van, 21. Yee. Uh, 19 to Sakuhime. Go ahead. Alright, All right, so let's get started on the main card that came out from Mega Colony. Yeah, the main card and main focus of conversation all over the internet about Mega Colony. So it's, the, uh, it's the break ride. It's called Unraveled Sword of Rogue Cyclomatis. The, uh, the skill is when a Mega Colony rides this unit, choose your Vanguard, and that unit, get, that unit gets 10,000 power until the end of the turn. Rest all of your opponent's units, and those units cannot stand during your opponent's next stand phase. And the second skill is during your turn, four of your opponent's Vanguards and Rearguards are rested, this unit gets 3,000 power, so it becomes a 13k, which actually becomes really nice. I like the break ride. That's actually really effective. And plus, nine times out of ten, all Mega Colony players, if they want to stop their opponents and force them to retire most of their cards, they'll just run four break rides and just stop them from standing one turn, another turn, another turn, and another turn. So, which is actually really effective. I, I don't think I have to ask the question would anybody use this because it's a break ride. Minutes. Anybody, everybody yeah. use. I'm pretty sure everyone's going to use four break ride and any other grade three. Uh, 16 is like in uh, personal opinion, how do you feel, Osama? 16 event. Uh, I mean, to be completely honest, it's this. This is Mega Colony's first break ride. I can, I can honestly just say I'm extraordinarily excited about oh, it. Oh my van got hit you, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, with this break ride, there's just so many different possibilities with this card. There's, there's just no way you can mess up. You just can't. I mean, I, I disagree. I, I, I strongly disagree. You can just not play it. And if you don't, then you scrub. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know why you wouldn't play that. You got the break ride cyclomatis, and then you and then you have the other other card that gets ten and a crit. So you could just do the base and just break with the uh, with the unit um, that gets ten and a crit over cyclomatis, or you could just just play cyclomatis by itself and just keep on break riding over and over again. So oh, you you have many you have plenty of options. Uh, this is nineteen. Oh god. Succubus. Uh, 19. I personally feel about the card. It's a pretty good break ride. Uh, this, it's one of the top uh, since it rests the deck. whole field. Uh, your opponent pretty much has to play six new cards just to just to get a just to get a full field attacking. By the way, and uh, I mean, in my opinion. I don't see why Mega Colony players wouldn't use this card. Uh, the only thing I recommend is do not ri retire cards when you're. Don't go after a single rare guard when you break ride. It defeats the purpose. That's, that's what I believe. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, everybody's going to get more. Uh, everybody's a tough. At this point, with Mega Colony, Master Beetle is no longer a factor with these new cards that are coming out. So. What is that? Uh, take. Critical. Damn, you got it. Critical. Critical. Damn. That's a death. Draw, trigger, draw. Shut. Yeah, you got it. All right, so that's the first game for this week. Um, we're still talking about box cards in the box 15, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.